What are some examples of things that were acceptable for parents to do in the past 40 years that would be illegal or totally not acceptable today? Dad had a camper top on his pickup and I rode back there all the time. No seat belt. No seat. Just the back of a pickup. Making your kid smoke a whole carton of cigarettes is a punishment for smoking a single cigarette. Parents dropping their kid off at the playground and then going to run some errands. Leave your kid alone in the car for 10-15 minutes while the parent ran into a store for an errand. Etc. I was born in 1980 and asked my mom this question. She says when I was pregnant with you. The DR would smoke a cigarette. During the internal exam. I would also have a smoke. In the hospital they smoked. I remember the nuns asking me if I wanted to hold you and I said of course stubbed out my smoke. Waved my arm in the air to clear the air a bit and they wheeled you in. The smoking around your kids didn't surprise me as much as the doctors and nurses doing it. In the hospital. Anyone rub whiskey on teething baby gums anymore? It's not unacceptable yet. But it seems trick or treating happens less and less every year. Anyone else experiencing this in their neighborhoods? Corporal punishment is much less accepted than it used to be. I guess it will be illegal sooner or later. Leaving your kids at home alone while you run some errands. My mom was a single mom with four of us. And from grade school age there were a number of times when we would be left home alone while she would go out to get stuff. Or even for the hours after school before she would get home. Edit to add this article. Leaving school aged children home alone could become illegal if court convicts Winnipeg mother. Standing your kid up on the car seat with no seat belt in between the two of you, I was about 4. Did this all the time. Huge old car with bench seats. Two chain smokers in a car with your kids with rolled up windows. Sending your kid in to buy a pack of cigarettes for you. Smacking the taste out of your kid's mouth in public if the kid got out of line. Free range parenting, although I hope that is making a comeback.